from deadly stings to really stinky smells. Stay tuned to number one to find out the strangest pets that people actually keep. Number 10, Wallabies. It looks like a small kangaroo, but it's not. It's actually a wallaby. Imagine keeping this little guy as a pet. Just like their kangaroo relatives, wallabies are marsupials, and they're pretty good as pets. Yes, people really keep these little beauties as pets, even outside their native Australia, where they're abundant in the wild. There are two main conditions that have to be met in order to keep a wallaby as a pet. First, there has to be enough room for them to run around because they love their freedom and cannot stay confined for long. Second, they need to have a lot of fresh food for their diet. If they can have this, the game is on. Also, temperature should be kept at an optimal level because, as an Australian marsupial, wallabies are used to warm climates. But the great thing about these creatures is that they love to cuddle, and they'll follow their owner around the house wanting to play. Number 9. Sugar Gliders before we move on, take a moment to subscribe for more videos from Zero to Hero. Be sure to click that notification bell too while you're there. Oh, and like this video. Here is an exotic pet if there ever was one. Maybe you haven't heard of sugar gliders, but you have to admit, the name sure does sound awesome. And it's not only their name that's awesome, sugar gliders are great as pets. But there are certain things owners need to bear in mind. First of all, Sugar gliders can live quite long, up to 14 years in captivity, which is a lot by pet animal standards. And it's not only that, they need enough free space so they can move around, and they consume a very special diet on a daily basis. Another marsupial, they are fun to be around, and they love playing, but it has to be done on a regular basis because they are kind of addictive personalities. A sugar glider will bond very quickly with another one of its kind, but also with a human, as long as the relationship is maintained on a regular basis. In addition to this, they can be quite loud, especially when they're frightened. And they are nocturnal, so it's best not to wake them up during the day. Number 8. Capybaras Rodents make some of the best pets around, and people love keeping them. But what if you kept the world's biggest rodent? Wouldn't that be just… swell? Enter the capybara. This funny sounding animal is the biggest rodent in the world, well, at least one of them, and it can grow to a weight of up to 140 pounds. Capybaras are sweet, but they can also be quite challenging as pets. One of the reasons for this is because they are extremely social and like spending time in groups, which is why people mostly avoid having only one capybara as a pet. Also, there should be enough water, because they simply love waiting in water all day long. They are legal to own as pets in Texas and Pennsylvania and require special licenses in some other states. Before getting a capybara as a pet, the best thing would be to check on the local laws. If you think owning a pet capybara is weird, just wait, there's more. Number 7. Fennec Foxes These animals come from a region of North Africa, and they are nocturnal. They can be held as pets, although this does not happen so often. Fennec foxes are quite small, but there's one thing that's rather big on them, their ears. Yes, they do look funny because of it, but it's also very cute. Their ears are what makes them unique in the animal kingdom. If one wants to keep a fennec fox as a pet, it's important to know this. They are extremely active and bursting with energy. It's practically impossible to keep them calm, so it's best not to even try it. They can be pets, but are not domesticated animals. No way. What makes them even more interesting is that they're extremely curious. They love looking into every nook and cranny, searching for whatever they can find. And of course, we cannot forget their calling card, digging. Fennec foxes love to dig, which is why it's necessary to secure their area with outdoor enclosures. Otherwise, they dig under the wall or the fence, and they escape in no time. But on the good side, people have testified to the fact that fennec foxes can be trained just like dogs and held on a leash. They are very friendly, even to strangers. Makes sense why there are some people who like to keep them as pets. Number 6. Hedgehogs Okay, a tortoise is a pet? That I can understand. But a hedgehog? Why? Well, it turns out that there are people who love having hedgehogs as pets. The best way to look at a pet hedgehog is as if they're hamsters, because they're quite similar to them in many ways. 
Hedgehogs don't enjoy the company of humans that much. In fact, probably not at all. And they practically cannot be trained as regular pets. If positive reinforcement is applied, some progress can be made, but only to a certain extent, and only with the most basic of things. On the good side, they don't require a lot of space, they're not loud, and they make no funny noises, so the neighborhood won't be alarmed. Oh, and they don't require frequent cage cleanings, once a week is probably more than enough for an average hedgehog. But the best thing of all is this. Hedgehogs have neither dander nor that strange funny smell, like ferrets for example. Peaceful by nature, not chewing on furniture, since they're not rodents, hedgehogs are liked and kept by those who were on the weirder side of pet owners. I don't have any evidence proving this, but I'm going to assume that they are all named Sonic too. Number 5. Skunks Okay, I might be able to understand hedgehogs, even those sugar gliders, but come on. A skunk for a pet? Why on earth would anyone do that? Skunks are, well, stinky animals, since there's no other way of putting it. Believe it or not, folks, people do keep skunks as pets. There, you've heard it all now. The reason why skunks have that funny smell is their scent glands. They are responsible for the musky odor that we all hate to even think of, let alone smell. But skunks can actually be domesticated. And for more than 60 years, people have been turning them into friendly companions. Skunks in the wild can be very aggressive and hostile, but domesticated? They're a whole different animal, a far cry from the same version in the wild. Skunks can also be descented when they're about three to six months old, after which they lose the ability of letting off that awful smell of theirs. The best thing about them is that they can be trained to accept the human sleep cycle, which makes it easier to keep them as pets and take care of them. But unfortunately, it is not legal to own a skunk everywhere, and future owners are well advised to make sure they're allowed to. Number 4. Emperor Scorpions We're now entering deadly territory, so beware. Having a skunk or a capybara for a pet is one thing, but who would want to own an animal that can kill or massively hurt you with a single sting? Well, that's the kind of planet we're on, folks, and believe it or not, there are many people who love keeping deadly animals as pets. It's probably an adrenaline thing. I don't know. Anyway, number four on our list is the Emperor Scorpion. An Emperor Scorpion is not deadly per se, because its sting is only as strong and as dangerous as the sting of a bee. But if a person has an anaphylactic reaction to the venom, then it can prove quite dangerous. Emperor scorpions live in warm and humid areas, which is why it's important to secure the same kind of atmosphere for them. As far as their diet is concerned, they can eat all kinds of stuff, but a couple normal-sized crickets or other insects per week will do. Great fun for the brave ones. Number 3. Tarantulas And you thought people who kept scorpions were crazy. Yes, there are those who like to keep tarantulas as pets. For the last couple of years, tarantulas have actually become quite popular and more and more people have decided to keep them. To some, this is a logical solution, because tarantulas are actually quite easy to keep. They're quiet and they require little room to function normally. Tarantulas are venomous and their sting can even be fatal in some situations, especially when a person suffers an anaphylactic reaction. But in most cases, their sting resembles those of wasps or bees. However, spiders are not dangerous, as many of you would think. They usually don't bite humans out of necessity, but instead out of fear. And they would always choose to retreat than swing a full attack. You don't need a big tank to house a tarantula because they require little to no room. A tank a couple of times bigger than an adult tarantula can be more than enough for normal housing. The key thing is to keep optimal humidity and have a small hiding place for the spider, like a piece of bark or a small hollow log. Number 2. Bearded Dragon Lizards The silver medal on our list goes to a reptile with an amazing name, the Bearded Dragon Lizard. Come on, doesn't it just sound awesome? Well, it turns out that these lizards are actually very popular as pets, and they're nicknamed Beardies. They're not very big, and their original territory is the land down under. That's right, Australia, where all the weird and amazing looking animals come from. Overall, bearded lizards are considered good pets, but they kind of have a special diet that has to be followed very thoroughly. 
For the housing of a bearded dragon lizard, you would need a moderately sized tank, like 55 to 75 gallons, with a secure top and washed play sand to give the pet a sense of its natural surroundings. However, the most essential thing is the lighting. Bearded lizards need to be exposed to enough UVA and UVB radiation, but this can be solved with special fluorescent bulbs. The rays coming from these bulbs are invisible, but necessary for the lizards. In addition to this, some exposure to direct sunlight is also beneficial. Number 1. Boa Constrictor Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! The gold medal for the strangest pet animal goes to the boa constrictor. They are pretty hard to locate in a regular pet shop, but people do manage to find them and take them home as pets. Amazing! These animals can live quite long, usually from 25 to 30 years, with the oldest recorded case of 43 years old. When they are babies, they can be held in a small or medium-sized glass aquarium, but not for long. Once they become adults, boa constrictors need to be placed inside special custom enclosures, which can be bought or even constructed at home. The essential thing is this enclosure has a thermometer, because the temperature has to be exact since these snakes come from a temperature-sensitive climate. This all means that the boa constrictors require a lot of attention and plenty of dedication in order to live a long, healthy life. They're not aggressive by nature, although I'm not really sure whether I'd like to become a proud owner of one of those. But apparently, some of us like it hot. Would you own any of these pets? Let us know in the comments below and take care.